Hello developers, today I am going to solve a new play console warning. This app bundle contains native code and you haven't uploaded debug symbols. We recommend you upload a symbol file to make your crashes and ANRs easier to analyze and debug. Actually this warning is related to the native libraries included in your app bundle through the dependencies used in your Gradle file. Hence to debug the native crashes and ANRs in play console, you must upload symbols file. So let's see how to generate the symbols file and how to upload it in play console. There are two solutions for this issue. The first one is include the native debug symbols file in your android app bundle itself. Second one is zip the unstripped libraries manually and upload the zip file to the play console. So these two ways differ based on the version of the android gradle plugin used in your project and the build output of your project. If you are using Android Gradle plugin version 4.0 or earlier and using other build system instead of Android Studio to create the build file, then you can go for this second solution that is manual upload of the debug symbols file. Here you need to go to the native library folder to zip the .so files. This directory structure may vary based on the AGP version you are using in your project. In the latest versions you can go to app build intermediates. Here find out the directory called merged native libraries. Go to this folder. Inside this find library folder. Yes, these are my native libraries .so files. Sometimes you can find only three folders. It depends on the Gradle dependency libraries you have used in the build.gradle file. So compress all these folders to a zip file. Yes, now we have to upload this zip file manually to the Google Play Console. Go back to Play Console. This is my warning. Okay, click on back here. This is my app bundle version number 4. Click on this arrow. Go to Downloads tab. Click on this upload icon for native debug symbols. Now drop this zip file here. Oh, there is an error. The native debug symbols contains an invalid directory Mac OS X. Only Android ABIs are supported. This error appears only for Mac users. To fix this problem, go to that library folder. Open the terminal window for this folder. Now run a command which removes all Mac OS X folders. Zip minus D and write the file name archive.zip and the folder to be deleted, Mac OS X. Yes, see all the Mac OS X folders are deleted from the archive.zip. Now try uploading the zip file to play console once again. Yes, native debug symbols file uploaded. And the size is 26.3 MB, which is below the 300 MB limit. Now close this window. Click next. See, the warning is gone. This way, you can generate the native symbols zip file and upload the file to the play console to avoid the warning. But this procedure, you need to do it for every release update. And also this step is only required for developers using APKs. If you are using an app bundle and AJP version 4.1 or later, then you can go for the permanent solution. That is solution number one. Automatically include the native debug symbols file in the app bundle itself. For that, you need to add this ndk.debug symbol level property in your build.gradle file. Go to project. Open modules build.gradle file. Copy this ndk.debug symbol level into android.buildtypes.release block. Or else you can copy this whole sentence in the file like this. Okay. But to execute this property, we need to add ndk library to our project structure. Go to settings on the top right hand side, 
open SDK manager, go to SDK tools tab, download this NDK side by side library first. Select, apply, ok. This will download the NDK into Android Studio. Wait for it to install completely. Ok, now click on finish. Ok. Now go to settings again. Select project structure under modules. Select NDK version that was downloaded just now. Click on apply and ok. Now clean the project. To create the new build file with this gradle change, we need to update the version number and version name. Now sync the gradle files. Generate the signed android app bundle. Yes, release AAB file got generated. Now upload this version 5 build file in play console. To confirm the changes, open the version 5 AAB file, select compare with previous APK, select version 4 here. See there is some difference in the file size after including the debug symbol level. Ok, now let's upload this bundle to play console. You can discard this draft release to upload the new version. Here I am saving this release but not sending it for review. Now create new release. Drop this new bundle file. Ok, uploaded app bundle version 5. Verify for the native debug symbols file. Click on this arrow. Downloads. Yes, see the symbols file was automatically included in the android app bundle file and the size is also very less compared to our zip file created and uploaded manually in solution number 2. Now click next. See the warning is gone. In this way you can fix the warning permanently. So check both the solutions and use whichever is suitable for your requirements. Hope this video was helpful for you to fix the warning at your end. If yes, please comment which solution was better for you. Like the video and subscribe to IRECA Tech Solutions. Thank you.